what's up guys welcome back to a new video um, today I'm gonna be showing you uh, how to install Windows Millennium Edition uh, from two, from the year 2000 in a virtual machine in a program called VirtualBox. Now, uh, VirtualBox emulates uh, older Windows OSs. It can emulate newer Windows OSs. It can emulate almost any OS that you want. Um, and today we're going to be installing Windows Me, um, the Millennium Edition, the so-called failed Microsoft operating system. I think it's going to be a little fun. Um, I don't have that virtual machine installed uh, yet. But I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna give you guys a tutorial. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the links uh, for both of the files. You're gonna need the Windows ME boot disk um, and the Windows ME retail OEM um, ISO file, um, and you're gonna need both of those. So uh, we're gonna go to Chrome here. Let me show you what you need to download. So you're gonna need to go to virtualbox.org/wiki/downloads. You're gonna need to whatever operating system you're on. I'm on Windows. Uh, so I would select Windows Host, but if you're on Mac, you would choose OS X. If you're on Linux, you would choose one of these choices for um, Linux. You're going to need WinRAR to unzip the RAR files. Um, you're going to need to choose whatever language you have and whatever operating system you have, whether you have 32-bit or 64-bit operating system, you're going to choose one of those. And you're going to need the Windows ME OEM uh, retail ISO file. Um, and you're also going to need the Windows ME floppy boot disks. Yeah, you heard me right. Floppy. Floppy drives. It's pretty crazy that we're using stuff like this. It's a three and a half floppy drive. So, after you have all those files downloaded and you put them in a location that you want, you're going to load up Oracle VM VirtualBox. And I'm going to do a video with no cuts whatsoever. It's just going to be no editing. I'm going to go along with you guys. Just so if you guys have any issues with installing this, you guys can comment in the comments section. Um, so what we're going to do is after you've installed VirtualBox, you won't have all these VMs if, if this is your first time. But if this is not your first time and you've done this before, then you probably don't need to watch this tutorial. Um, but you're probably watching this tutorial because this is your first time, so you won't have all these like I do. So you're going to click on uh, this blue button that says New, and you're going to give it a name. I'm going to call it Windows Me, just like that. And then it automatically knows that we're doing Windows ME, so leave it on that. For the RAM, you can keep it at 128 megabytes, um, and I'm going to bump it up to 256 megabytes of RAM. And then you're going to want to create the virtual hard disk, so you're going to select this middle option and click Create. Click Next. Make sure it says Dynamically Allocated so it doesn't take up a bunch of space. And you can change how much space Windows ME has. I'm just going to leave it at 4 gigabytes, and I'm gonna, I make machine folders, so you guys don't have to do this part, but I make folders for each of my operating systems but you guys can just click on create like that and then now your operating system is created as you guys can see and I'm gonna organize it because mine is you know not very organized so I'm gonna put it in. I'll put it right there I guess yeah that's good so then you're gonna click on settings okay and you're gonna want to extract the files uh, and you're going to need the boot disks here, and you're also going to need the OEM retail uh, ISO file, okay? So you're going to go to storage, and then under the this empty floppy, you're going to click on that floppy icon and click on choose a disk file, okay? And then you're going to browse for your boot disk, not the ISO, um, but the boot disk. It's going to be Windows ME boot disk, and it's going to say OAK in parentheses at the end. So you're going to click that and click on open and then now you're going to go to the empty disk click on this click on this disk icon click on choose a disk file and you're going to want to find your Windows ME uh, OEM full ISO file it's going to be a retail copy this is the real version of Windows ME after you've gotten both of those in click on OK okay and now you're going to want to click on start to boot up the virtual machine and I'm going to minimize this, okay? And then it could take a little while on some machines um, to boot up because if this is your first time, it will take a little while. So it says starting virtual machine, you get the VirtualBox logo. And then here, you want to click um, boot from CD-ROM. So here we are here. I'm going to resize this window. Click on boot from CD-ROM. 
press enter, and then you're going to choose the choice that says 1. Make sure it's selected Start Windows Setup from CD-ROM and click the Enter key on your keyboard, or Return if you have a Mac. But I'm using a Mac keyboard on a, a Windows 7 uh, iMac. Yeah, my iMac has Windows 7. Okay, anyway. Okay, you're going to click on Enter to continue the setup. Click on Enter again. Um, make sure it says No, do not use large disk support. And it says, please make sure Windows ME boot disk is in drive A, and it, it is. If you insert both of them, then you click enter. Um, and I think you can see it wrong. Okay, now it's formatting the C drive. Don't worry, it's not your computer C drive, it's just the Windows ME drive that has nothing on it. It's the 4 gigabyte thing we created. Uh, it says, set up the program to install Windows. Please wait, well, please wait while setup initializes. Setup is now perform a routine check on your computer. To continue, press enter. To quit setup, press escape. Uh, just click enter. And there we go. We are now in the Windows ME like setup. We have a mouse now. Um, if you cannot get your mouse to move in this, you're going to go down to, um, you're going to go to input and click mouse integration if your mouse is not working. But mine's working, so it's great out for me. So you're going to click on next right here, and make sure it says C Windows recommended, click on next. And now it's going to check for installed components, it should be pretty quick. Um, and then you can choose which option that you want. So typical is recommended for like desktop computers, portable is meant for like a laptop, which if you have those then you can choose that. Compact, save disks, save uh, compact, saves disk space. And then the custom is just like custom. I'm going to keep mine on typical. That's the choice for most desktop, but te desktops. But if you're on a laptop and want to save battery life, then you can choose portable. But just choose typical. And make sure it says install the most common components and click on next. And then you can give your computer a name. So I want to name it Windows Millennium. I can't give it both now. I'll just call it Windows ME. Okay. Uh, you can do a computer description if you want. Make sure that says work group in all caps and click next. Choose the country or region that you are from. I am from the United States. I'm an American. So you're going to click that and then click on next. And then you're going to want to choose in your time zone. I'm on central time, US and Canada. <clears throat> Ready to begin copying files? You would click finish right here. Okay? And then now. It's going to copy them, and as you can see, there's the file copy process, as you can see. Um, I'm not exactly sure how long this will take. Um, the estimated time remaining of 22 minutes, it won't take 22 minutes. It'll probably take about 3 minutes, 4 minutes, maybe, max, because they assume that you have a really slow computer, um, if it's going to take that long. But I'm guessing you guys don't have slow computers anymore. I don't, because... It's um, 2022, and no one has a slow computer. Well, if you have a slow computer, it might take a little while. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to wait it out until it goes to the very end. Um, I don't know what I'm going to talk about, because I'm not editing this at all. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna have to ramble on for a little while, apparently. But um, yeah. So Windows ME was made after Windows 2000. Everyone hated it. Um, because it was very unstable, but it, that's because they were running lower end computers. Um, and you shouldn't have this issue if you install this because I'm assuming you don't have like a 90, 90s computer. Or if you did, then it would not be running VirtualBox whatsoever. It's pretty cool because it shows you what Windows ME can do. Um, it's pretty cringy to see all these. It says, like, if you want to use the internet, it's never been easier or faster. The Internet Connection Wizard helps you configure your system and sign up with an internet service provider of your choice. And uh, that's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> it's about a fourth done on the file copy process. So, yeah. The integration of open, by the way. <laughs> Looks like we're almost half done here. As you can see, it says file copy process, and it says a percentage number there. And we are half done right now. And uh, yeah, you'll get every. This is the real retail version of Windows ME. It's no fake. 
Um, it's a real version of Windows Envy. Um, looks like we're coming along at about a third, two thirds done here. About 66% done. Looks like I just went away from the computer for a bit to get a drink of water. It looks like it's almost at 90%, um, and this is going to take a little while. Um, I don't know why it's taking forever. I don't think it has any graphics acceleration, um, so it won't it won't work too well. Like if you have an RTX 3090, whatever you have, don't expect it to work with Windows. I mean, okay, now it's done, and you can wait this out, or you can click restart now. So just click on restart now. And then your virtual machine is going to restart now. And this time, do not boot from the CD-ROM. But keep the CD-ROM in there, because if you don't, it might not work correctly. So select the first option that says boot from hard disk. Click enter. And there we go. There's the Windows ME Millennium Edition um, boot screen. And now it says Windows Millennium Edition is now initializing. Now it's going to detect any plug-and-play devices you may have. Meaning, like, um, if you have any, like, if you have any webcams or um, stuff like that connected, or mouse, and keyboard, it will detect those and install drivers. Windows is now detecting non-plug and play hardware in your computer. And it says this may take a few minutes and may cause your computer to stop responding if the progress indicator stops for a long time and there is no disk activity. Please restart your computer. That's probably not going to happen. That's only if you have a really bad computer and it stalls on the setup process, which I don't think is going to happen for your guys' computer whatsoever. But if it does, you can always um, go up to where it says machine and click on reset, and that will restart the machine. It won't like delete it, it'll just reset it. Um, like do a restart. That's what I meant to say. Okay, we're almost to 75% complete. And I always like the icon. It says it's like a magnif big magnifying glass searching on a computer. That's pretty funny. When Microsoft did a good job there. That's the only good thing about Windows Envy, okay? I mean, let's be real. I mean, Windows Envy is okay as an OS. It's just unstable for old computers. But we, no one has old computers nowadays. Okay, now it says Windows Millennium Edition is now setting up your hardware and any plug and play devices you may have, meaning your mouse, keyboard, etc. Maybe if you have a hard drive hooked up like me, like an external hard drive or a flash drive, it'll detect those as well, and it will use those as well. Okay, now we're in the part where you can type in your name and your company. So I'm going to type in my real name, which my name is Matthew, and my company name, which I don't have a company, so you can leave that blank, by the way. You, you don't have to fill out these. You have to fill out the name, but you don't really have to fill out the company, so click Next. And then this is the little user agreement that no one reads, so click on I accept the agreement, even though you didn't read it, I know. And here's the product key. Um, I don't think I have a product key for Windows ME, but you know what you guys can do? Is Google one, and then you'll find a product key. I'll put the product key in the description. Um, I'm going to Google Windows ME product key. You guys can do this too. Okay, here we have some. Okay, now it's loading the website. Here's one. Let's use this one. I'm going to get this one into a notepad document um, and see if this one works. So let's paste this. Um, and this product is going to be in the description if it works. If it does not work, I'm going to use a different one. It better work, I swear. Okay. RVDC9. J9 
hope I don't like misspell this because if I do, that's going to be a nightmare. Now this product key, if it does work, and let's see if it works. Product key is not that. Did I type that in wrong? Um. I don't know if I typed that in wrong or not. Okay, let's try a different one. Let's go back on to Google. Let's find another one. Okay. Okay. Here we have more product keys here. So one of these is bound to work. Um, I'm gonna try all these. And as, as I said, I'm not editing this. So <laughs> that's gonna be fun. Um, Cause I wanna like keep it real with you guys. Like, I don't wanna edit. Why is this not erasing? I don't want to edit because I don't want to like, yeah, paste this, okay, let's delete this one now, okay, let's try this one out now, okay, B6, B, I see, this could have been more prepared, I could have gotten a product key before this, but I totally forgot about the product key, I don't know why, there's something you forget about. But I wish there was a choice to skip it because no one really activates uh, virtual machines. So I, I don't really care to have a product key in Windows. But I guess you need it. Okay, let's try this one. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Are you kidding me? Am I not going to be able to find one? Okay, this is for the full retail. That's the one I have. So we're going to use this one. Okay, let's try out this one. If this one doesn't work, guys, I don't know what to tell you. Um, whichever one of these works, I'm going to put in the description. Like, if this one works, this one's going in the, in the description. But if it does not work, then I'm going to have to find another one. That's going to be very sad. You notice my, my wallpaper is changing because I have a, a theme, Windows 7 theme. Yeah, I still use Windows 7 because I, I like not being secure on my computer. No, that's not the reason. Like my, my, my iMac uh, cannot really run Windows 10. I swear I tried. I don't, I, I don't want Windows 8 on it and Mac OS is good too, but like Windows to me is better for virtual machines, OBS Studio and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, do any of these work? What the frick? Okay, I might need to edit the video. I don't want to though. I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, this guy said this one worked for him, but I already tried that one, I think. Well, give me a second, guys. <laughs> oh my god. That's a lot of product keys, but I saw a website that might work actually. It's down here. Oh, it's, it's, you should download that one. Okay, let's see if there's a Windows um, ME one here. A Windows XP, Windows 2000. Oh, there's no Windows Me. What's going on? Oh. Okay, this is the website that I downloaded from. WinWorld PC. Let's try. If let's try both of these actually. Oopsies. What? 
Where's Windows Me? Did it power off? Huh, it shut down for some reason. Oh, sorry guys, I'm having some issues here. <laughs> Technical difficulties. I could do the video over again, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm just going to, you know, keep it real with you. Um, I know one of these um, things will work. So boot from the hard disk again. Yep, it's going to do this. It's going to do this again, guys. So It's now setting up my plug and play, plug and pray devices. Yep, you're going to type in your name. You're going to accept the agreement. And okay, here's where I come in again. I'm sorry guys, I just did not have this prepared. You guys can skip whenever I get the product key on the video. You don't. You guys don't have to watch this. I'm just not editing it because I don't want to. Um, okay. Um, VQ. I'm doing the one on the... Whatever, the top. So what I'm doing. G4. WWK. DC. BP. Seven P seven P W. Let's see if this one works. Okay, finally, guys. Okay, I'm posting this one in the description. This product key right here. That's gonna be. This is the one that works. So there we go. I finally figured it out. I'm so sorry that took forever. Okay, then once you're finally done with that product key thing that took me literally years to finish, click on finish. Okay, and then we should be off. Good to go. Jeez, I mean, I just couldn't find a product key. I thought the internet was easier to find product keys. Um, and now it's going to set up the control panel, which you can use if you want to adjust your computer settings later. Um, and this is going to be very quick, because, again, no one has a slow computer anymore in the world. Well, that's not true. The old computer. So now it's going to install components. Um, and that down there is the overall progress. That's like the total progress. And once that gets to the end, it's going to be all done. I'm just doing some setup here. Like doing some component pro I don't know what to say, man. Like doing some component progress here. Um, yeah. I guess I'm just gonna have to wait for this to be done as well. How long, how long have, I been, have I been recording for, by the way? I've been recording for about 22 minutes. Gee, that's gonna be a long video. It's gonna be a super long video. <laughs> if I keep this up, it's been, you know, <laughs> okay. Um, I'm definitely going to post that product key in the description for you guys to use. Because I could not figure it out myself. I don't know why. I don't know why I couldn't figure it out, but I just couldn't figure out the product key situation. I don't like product keys. Product keys were introduced in Windows XP Professional. So, um, that's, that's right. I'm just gonna sit here and wait till it's all done. And I'll come right back to you guys when it's all done.
and uh, as you guys can notice, at the estimated time remaining, only three minutes left. So we're gonna be done probably before this video reaches 30 minutes. Don't quote me on that, but we'll probably be done before the video reaches 30 minutes. I'm just saying. And it looks like the overall progress is almost at the end here. Um, just has a little few more things to get done. It's doing some component progress, and then then we'll be off to the races, and then we'll be using Windows at Millennium Edition. Great. I'm just gonna just keep talking to you guys while it finishes, because it's super close to being done. I mean, come on, it's so close. And then I believe after it does this um, processing stuff, or progress stuff, oh, it just dropped down to one minute on the estimated time remaining. Um, it'll probably be about another minute until it gets done. But um, after this part gets done, it's going to ask you to do a restart, and then that's going to be another restart point for us. And then we're just going to be restarting, and then I will help you guys with that restart, and it's in less than a minute on the estimated time remaining. So it's really going quick. It's really going. I mean, this is not going to take very long at, 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 at all, really. So, yeah. So, uh, okay, there. So here's the restart point. You can either wait for this to go to the end or just click on restart now, which is what I'm going to do. So now, virtual machine is restarting. And now, do not boot from the CD-ROM. Do not do that anymore. Boot from the hard disk, and then it'll say Windows Millennium Edition. And then you'll be good to go. Um, and now you're going to enter in your username and password. That's what you put in. So my username is Matthew, and then I don't have a password. Uh, and you click on OK. And then now it's going to do some more updating system settings. It's going to install through the Windows hardware database. And then after that, we should be on the desktop running Windows ME. Um, and we and go in the comment section below guys to tell me if you want to see any more operating systems to be installed or any more tutor virtual box tutorials. I can do VMware tutorials as well, but I don't think my computer can run VMware because it's a heavier program. And also, yeah, I think it's done here. Yeah, leave in the comments if you want me to do any more virtual box tutorials for Windows or Mac. And I did not hear the boot up sound, but that's okay. Uh, we are now in Windows Millennium Edition. As you can see, we can go to the Start menu. You can go to Programs and go to Accessories. And uh, if you guys want this window to get full screen, I can do a tutorial on that too. If you click this full screen button, it doesn't actually go in full screen. So what you might have to do is install Guest Editions by going to Devices and insert Guest Editions. This might not work. Oh yeah. By the way, guys, remove the floppy drive and also uh, the ISO. So you're going to right-click on the disk, not left-click, but right-click, and click Remove from vir Virtual Drive, and click on Force on Mount, and then same for the floppy, right-click, and then choose Remove Disk from Virtual Drive. And the floppy drive and the ISO are removed, and we're going to insert our guest editions by clicking that. And then, yeah, that's what I thought. It doesn't does not work. I mean, I'll try to get it to work. But I doubt it's gonna work. We might just have to do this screen like this. Um, let's do the x86. Ah, oh, it caused an error. Oh, that's bad. Oh, no. Yeah, this is not. Can I do compatibility mode? Did they even have compatibility? No, I don't think they did. Um, that's not very good. We can try to adjust our screen our screen resolution by going into settings. And I don't think we can turn up our resolution. Oh, um, you know what we can do though is just um, virtual screen and then turn it all the way up and then view in full screen. And there we go. I guess this is as good as we'll get. I don't think we can get any better. We can try to change the desktop background, which that is going to work. I think that's going to work. Which one do I want today? Let's do this one. Okay, that's good. Perfect. Looks a bit weird though. Yeah, because we, we don't have all the colors installed. But, um, that's how you install Windows Millennium Edition. I'm going to shut this down. And then end the tutorial right here. So shut down. And now, whenever you want to access Windows Millennium Edition again, you just go to 
uh, VirtualBox, and then click on Windows Me, click on Start, and then it will boot up. So that's the tutorial. Hope you guys found this tutorial useful on how to install Windows Millennium Edition in VirtualBox. And, oh, I did not mean to watch that program. <laughs> no! Okay, that was a mistake. Yeah, well, anyway, guys. I hope you enjoyed how to do this. Uh, it's like one of my first VirtualBox tutorials with this Windows 7, so... Um, I'm just getting used to it still, using Windows, because I've not used Windows in a long time. Um, and that's about it, guys, so... I guess I'll see you guys later, and goodbye, guys. I'll leave those product key and all the stuff in the description. Okay, goodbye.